Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my most popular tip ever. This is the one I get asked about more than any other of my tips, all right? And you're gonna know all about it. This is gonna make those of you who accidentally hit the F1 key when you were aiming for the escape key really happy, which is probably almost all of you. <laughs> I do it all the time. So why do we do that? Because in AutoCAD, we hit the escape key a lot. That's just one of the things that we do. And if you've used AutoCAD for a long time, you probably hit the escape key multiple times, right? So long story behind that. But regardless of new or old user, it's so easy to accidentally hit the F1 key. And when we hit the F1 key, the help function shows up on the screen and then we get cranky. And sometimes it takes forever for the help function to load as well. So it's speedy today, which is nice. All right, so you weren't after help you are after an escape. So we're gonna actually change the F1 key so it doesn't do help anymore, all right? That's gonna be our solution. And what are, we, what are we gonna change it to? I don't know, how about escape? <laughs> Since that's what I was trying to hit anyway, right? The escape key. So we're gonna switch it to escape. Now don't worry because you're changing the F1 key and you won't be able to use it for help anymore. You can get help all different places on the, in AutoCAD. You can always type in a question mark to get help. You can hit a question mark at the top of the screen. Easy to find help, right? That's not, that's not an issue. So what is an issue is hitting that F1 key by accident. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna go into the CUI command, which many refer to as the dreaded CUI command because it's intimidating, right? It's, it's hard, hard to understand it. It's a little scary. Ah, it's a piece of cake. For what we're gonna do today, you don't have to be a wizard at the CUI. This is gonna be super easy, I promise. So. We're gonna come over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see an option for keyboard shortcuts. That's what we're after, right? We wanna add it right underneath shortcut keys, all right? We need to add our escape function right underneath the shortcut keys. And then we're gonna tell it what key we on the keyboard we want to assign to it. So there's two steps here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go down and find an equivalent to escape. So I'll show you a little secret here. We're not gonna look up escape, we're gonna look for cancel. And you'll see there are actually two different options for cancel, all right? Here's one and here's one. Now both of them do an escape, but the better one is the second one. If you take a look at the first one over on the right-hand side here, you see it says cancel, and it says the description is it cancels the command. It only has one caret C here, one control C. What is? What am I talking about? Why, what's with the C? <laughs> Why does this say cancel and not escape? Long time ago, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth in the early days of AutoCAD, we used to do a control C on the keyboard to do a cancel. Believe it or not, that's how we would do a cancel, control C. Well, then control C turned into what? That's right, copy. And consequently, we had to abolish that. And so that's not the case anymore. But it didn't change the programming of AutoCAD because behind the scenes, you'll actually see that control C still does a cancel. So how do we do a control? That's a little caret symbol. Caret C means control C, which means escape. I want two escapes. If you look at the second one, you'll see there are two escapes. That's even better than one, right? Two's gotta be better than one. There are some, it's just a couple of commands inside of AutoCAD that require two escapes to get all the way out. And we want our command to go all the way out, don't we? Okay, so it's up to you, but I prefer the second one. This is so easy. I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna drag and drop it anywhere underneath the shortcut keys. Now, it is a little tricky sometimes because did you see the window kind of moved out, moved up a little bit? No problem, don't worry about that. So just drag it anywhere underneath shortcut keys. All right, that's the key. It doesn't have to be the second place or the first place. It just needs to be somewhere underneath that shortcut key subset, okay? All right, so now what? I'm gonna come over here and pick it. I come over here, it says, oh, it says cancel, two, two carrot C's, two control C's, two escapes. And then you'll see an option here for keys. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and select on that and we're gonna assign a key to it. Now it says it's currently assigned to nothing. That's, we know that's not true, right? We know that it's assigned to the, to the escape key on the keyboard, but apparently that guy doesn't count. This is super easy. You're just gonna go on the keyboard. You're gonna hit the F1 key. Don't type in F1 or anything like that. Just hit the F1 key. And it says it's still unassigned. The F1 apparently doesn't have an, any command assigned to it, also a lie. We happen to know that the help function is currently assigned to it, right? All right, so I'm gonna say, okay. How easy is that? That's actually all there is to it. I'm gonna hit okay to get out. Make sure you save it. Hit apply or hit an okay to get out. And now let's see if it worked, all right? I'm gonna go 
into the circle command. I'm going to get, oh, I didn't really want to do that. And I'm going to reach up and accidentally hit the F1 key. Ah, cancel. Yay. It didn't give me help on circle. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> All right. So that was pretty simple. You can just keep playing this over and over again until you get it down just right. And once you change your keys, maybe you'll get adventurous and change some of the other function keys too. It's completely up to you. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. No more hitting F1 by accident anymore. It's case solved. I'm going to see you back here hopefully in two more weeks. Thanks again for joining me.